Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Master. I'm very good. Thank you for asking. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Love to hear that. Thank you very much for being on time, Nestor, Nubia, Jennifer, and Denny. Thank you so much. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Nubia. How are you? I'm okay. Awesome. It is Friday, guys. Isn't that great? And Christian just joined. Excellent. We are now six people with me into account. Now, guys, I just sent you this calendar to WhatsApp. Como les dije que les iba a enviar. Aquí está, as promised, como prometido, uh, our calendar of contents. Así para que sepan que hemos visto cada día. And that way, se les hace más fácil uh, saber qué vamos a ver or what questions to ask. Um, y así como también si quieren buscar un, um, una clase específica en la playlist de YouTube, you can do it using this calendar para que se les sea más fácil encontrar esto en, um, en la playlist de YouTube. Se los mandé a WhatsApp también. And we are going to look at it mientras esperamos que se unen los demás compañeros so that we can begin with our class for today. It is Friday. I know it is raining. Sé que está lloviendo. So um, I am expecting that maybe some people will not be able to join the class um, because of the storm. Creo que pensábamos que ya no iba a llover, but apparently we were wrong. So we'll see. Veremos qué tal nos va. Now, I do know that it is a very difficult that we make the same groups we had yesterday, que hagamos los mismos grupos que teníamos ayer, because maybe not all of you will join today's class. So we'll work with what we have. Vamos a trabajar con lo que tenemos. And we will make some examples of um, with the ones that we already had. Y lo haremos así para también poder comenzar with our next topic for this week, which is holidays in the U.S. Which one of them was que ayer fue Thanksgiving. And we are also going to learn how to make questions with be going to. Ustedes ya lo aprendieron, cómo hacer questions with be going to. And now we're just going to practice how to do it using the holidays and special occasions. All right. So I do see that we are 11 people right now. We have Ale, Biselda, Christian, Denny, Rocio, Jennifer, Nestor, Nubia, Rita, and Veronica. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for being on time. This is our calendar, as I was mentioning before. How are you guys? How is this Friday treating you? Como están? Good. I'm very nice. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. It is Friday. It is so good. Bueno, I don't know if some of you work tomorrow. No sé si algunos de ustedes trabajan mañana, but um, I hope that Saturday is a little easier for you. Let's see. All right. It is eight with zero four minutes. Eight with four minutes. All right, and Christian just joined the other Christian. We have two Christians. We have Christian Castro and Christian Molina. Awesome. Perfect, guys. 
Now, I do know that it is Friday, so let's go ahead and keep this class fun and short and sweet. All right, so that we don't get bored and we go through this week. Y con eso estaríamos terminando the first week of our module. Like, technically, technically not the first week. El lunes se cumplirían como los cuatro días, but ustedes me entienden. You get it. So, it is eight with zero five minutes, guys. I think we are 12 people. Somos 12 ahorita, 12 people. So, I think it is safe to go ahead and start with today's class. ¿Les parece? Comenzamos. Yes. Awesome. Love to hear that. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the whiteboard. Y ahora que ya tengo la whiteboard, como dije, um, considero que no íbamos a estar todas las personas as we were yesterday. So what we're going to do is I am going to ask one of you uh, for a pronoun. Por un pronombre. And you are going to uh, provide for me. Me van a dar. Uh, you're going to you're going to give me the question con ese pronoun. La pregunta que hicieron con ese pronoun. And the two possible answers. Y las dos posibles respuestas. Positive and negative. So let's go ahead and begin with Ale. Hi, Ale. Hi. Good night. Hi. Good evening, Ale. So, uh, Ale, what um, question did you do for the pronoun I? I. No, hice ninguna para I. Oh, that's okay. Let's go ahead with you then. What? With you. Ah. Are you going to go swimming? Excellent. Are you going to go swimming? Perfect. And what are the possible answers? Yes, I answers? am. Excellent. No, I'm not. Perfect, Ale. Those are perfect. Awesome job. Thank you. Of course. Excellent. So this was Ale. Perfect. And now let's go ahead with Marta. Hi, Marta. Ooh, what happened? She disappeared. Desapareció el icono de Marta. Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead with Briselda. Good night, teacher. Hi, Briselda. Good night. Did you make a question for the pronoun I? Okay, I am. Um, hello. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Estoy buscando las notas que hice ah, ayer. Okay, that's okay. No problem. Vamos a ver la pregunta que hizo Briselda para el pronombre I. For me. So I. Remember, we are to use the oh, verb okay. to be always first. Okay, I am I am going to the park. I'm going to the park um, uh, tomorrow. Excellent. And what would be the possible answers? ¿Cuáles son las posibles respuestas? Yes, I'm going to go. Excellent. Um, no, I'm not. Perfect, Briselda. That is a perfect example. Am I going to the park tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to go. No, I'm not. Perfect. Awesome job. Now. Let's go ahead and listen to Christian, Christian Molina. 
Hi, Christian. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Awesome. Love to hear that. So, did you make a question for the pronoun he? Uh, okay. Uh, este... Yep. Uh, is he going to shopping tomorrow? Okay. And what would be the possible answers? ¿Cuáles serían las, las respuestas posibles? Uh, yes, she, yes, he is. Awesome. Um, no, he isn't. Perfect. Excellent, Christian. Solo vamos a hacer la siguiente corrección. This is a perfect example. Lo único que debemos corregir es esto. Remember, guys, when we are talking about an action, we are to say, is he going to go? Is he going to go shopping? Sure. Excellent. But the rest is perfect. So, le vamos a poner aquí un stamp on how we should do it. Is he going to go shopping? Perfect. Uh, is he going to go shopping tomorrow? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Perfect. Now, let's listen to... Denny. Hi, Denny. Hi, teacher. How are you? <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> All right, Denny. So, can you give us a question using the pronoun they? They, they, going to in the park. And what would be the possible answers? ¿Cuáles serían las respuestas posibles? Mm, no, they, they, no, they not. Y, Yes, they are. All right. Thank you, Benny. Now, let's review right now, guys. Let's review right here. ¿Qué nos falta en esta pregunta? Go. Nos falta go, correct? ¿Qué más nos falta? R. R. That's correct. Are Excellent. Are they going no, to yeah. podríamos decir go, play. Como Denny usó in, vamos a decir, vamos a seguir con la lógica de esta oración y vamos a decir, are they going to play in the park? Uh, así. Are they going to play in the park? Solo para seguir con la oración que hizo Denny, right? So remember, siempre después de going to, usamos un verbo. ¿Sí, Ale? I have a question. Yep. Eh, ¿Cuándo es que ocupamos el goes? Goes, o oh, ¿cómo es? Eh, goes. Goes, uh -huh. ¿Así? Sí, yes. He goes. She goes. Pero esto en, es, este, en esta oración, ajá. Esto es eh, um, presente continuo. So, uh -huh. um, for example, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's not continuous. Uh, es presente simple. So, for example, cuando digamos, he goes to the park. Él va al parque. 
Pero como con going to, estamos hablando del futuro, mm. él va a ir al parque. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Ah, okay, okay. going to go to the park. Ah. Él va a ir en el futuro al parque. Mm -hmm. And he goes to the park. Él va al parque. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok, thank you. Of course. Now, and for the answers, guys, this is correct. Yes, they are. They are going to play in the park. E for, ooh, I'm sorry. There we go. And for the negative answer, no, they not. O como sería la respuesta correcta? No. They're not. They're not. Correct. They are not. Remember, guys, que lo más importante siempre que complementemos es el verb to be. En inglés, el sujeto no puede ir jamás sin el verb to be. Siempre tiene que ir complementado con su verb to be. Es lo más importante siempre. They are, we are, he is, she is, it is, I am. ¿Ya? Yeah? All right. Let's continue. Now, can I please have Edenilson? Yes, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Now, can you give us an example using she? She. Is. Is she going to eat for, for her birthday? Excellent. Is she going to eat for her birthday? Excellent. ¿Y cuáles serían las posibles respuestas? What would be the possible answers? Yes. Yes, she is. And no, she isn't. Perfect. And no, she isn't. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you very much, Edenilson. Now, podríamos decir, is she going to eat for her birthday? Or is she going to go eat for her birthday? ¿Va a ir a comer o va a comer ella? Pero correct. Excellent. And yes, she is, con su verb to be, and no, she isn't. Awesome. Vamos a mover esto para aquí adelante, para aquí arribita. Actually, let's move it here. And this one here. And this one here. Con su corrección aquí. Vamos a limpiar esto aquí. And let's move this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now we can continue. Perfect. And we are missing uh, we, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and ask, please. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad. Can you please give us a question using we? Yes. Are we going to study French? Excellent. Study French. Perfect. Are we going to study French? And what are the possible answers? Yes, we are. Or no, we aren't. No, we aren't. Perfect. Awesome. Excellent answer. Thank you very much. Perfect. Now, are we going to study French? We are. So are we going to study French? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Perfect example, Jennifer. I'm so proud. And also, excellent pronunciation. Muy buena pronunciation. 
Now, guys. Aquí tenemos un example with every single um, pronoun. We have I, we have you, we have he, she, they. Uy, este se me filtró. Somewhere are you? Aquí está. Okay, let's see. They, two for they, actually. No, esta es la corrección, right? That's the they, she, and we. I think we're not missing anyone. So I, you, he, she, ah, it. Okay, let's do one for it. And that would be the last one. So can I please have, uh, let's see which color, which color, this one. Can I please have Rita? Yes. Hi, Rita. Can I please have uh, the question that you made for it? Yes. <clears throat> Is he dog going to go to the park? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is, is, is what? Is, is the dog going to go to the park? Excellent. And what could be yes. the answers? Yes, it is going to go to the park. Perfect. No, it isn't. Perfect. Thank you very much, Rita. Is the dog going to go to the park? Y sabemos que para los animales usamos it. So, yes, it is going to go to the park. Oh, no, it isn't. Perfect. Thank you very much, Rita. Okay. Now, ahora sí, we have one example for every single pronoun. We have de aquí, aquí tenemos la corrección de este. We have I, we have for you, we have for I, we have for you, we have he, she, it, they, and we. Now, guys, do we have any questions on how to make this, um, how to make this questions using going to? O tenemos alguna pregunta con cómo usar going to? in questions or in statements or in orations? Or not? Mm. No. Awesome. What about the rest? Los demás? Oh. Perfect. No. Excellent, guys. All right. In that case, let me go ahead and share another screen y compartirles otra pantalla. Para yo poder ponerles aquí the holidays in the U.S. so that we can see this. Now, excellent. One moment, here we go. Y aquí tenemos holidays in the U.S. Aquí faltan algunas, guys, pero ya les voy a poner algunas más. Pero veamos the basic ones. We have, vamos a hacerlo grande. There we go. The most uh, basic, o las más conocidas, actually, porque no son the most basic, but the most known ones, las más conocidas, son New Year's Day, that is January the 1st, eso es en todo el mundo, right? That's all around the world. We have Valentine's Day. That's my birthday, actually. On February 14th. We have Independence Day. El Día de la Independencia de Estados Unidos is on July 4th, 4 de julio. ¿De quién se independizó Estados Unidos? Holanda e Inglaterra, right? Um, Halloween, October 31st. We have Thanksgiving. It is the fourth Thursday in November. So like, um, así como algunas festividades de la iglesia no son un día específico, sino que es el cuarto jueves de noviembre. En este año, it was on the 26th. So yesterday. And we have Christmas. 
uh, which is December the 25th. Now, guys, there are many other um, holidays in the U.S. que les voy a mostrar en este momento. We have Columbus Day, el día de Colón, de la colonización. Uh, but let's go ahead and I'll show you this picture right here. I don't know if you can see my screen. Creo que aún no pueden ver my screen, but can you see my screen now? Yes. 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 Awesome. Yes. So here we have the federal holidays for 2020. ¿Qué significa que sea un federal holiday? Significa que son um, feriados, right? They don't work that day. So um, a diferencia de días como Valentine's Day that are, um, I mean, festivities, festividades, but um, it's not a federal holiday. Entonces no es feriado, right? You have to go to work on Valentine's Day. But on these days, you don't go to work. Or if you go to work, you get paid more. Te pagan más si vas a pagar ese día. Si vas a trabajar ese día, I'm sorry. So for example, we have New Year's Day. Eso es en todo el mundo, all around the world. We also have Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King Day. Do you guys know who Martin Luther King is? Alguien sabe quién es Martin Luther King? No. No, teacher. All right, guys. So Martin Luther King, maybe if I show you a picture. All right. No fue el fundador de la iglesia luterana. No. No. Uh, no. Ese es Martin Lutero. That's ah, Martin Luther. <laughs> fue un libertador. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Aquí, here we have it. Tal vez viéndolo, do you recognize him? Este es el, um, el señor de, el, um, de la, del discurso este de I have a dream. De tengo un sueño. So what he did, lo que él hizo is that um, during the um, during the racial uh, era of the United States durante el periodo de re, de resagación racial en Estados Unidos, he fought for people of colors, right? Por la, los derechos de la gente de color. And he was actually the one who got, um, los invito a que lean su biografía. It is very impressive. Leanla en inglés. Um, es más, se las voy a mandar a WhatsApp so that you can read it. Um, no, ¿saben qué? Es más, ya la vamos a leer. Ya la vamos a leer aquí en la clase. Um, but, de derechos civiles, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, that's correct. Of civil rights of people of color. So he was actually the one that um, made it possible for people of color to go to the same bathrooms, same neighborhoods, same buses porque no podían usar los mismos buses, los mismos baños, los mismos restaurantes. Habían zonas para personas de color y zonas para personas blancas, right? So he fought against that because it was not fair. No era justo. He um, ended up getting murdered. Lo terminaron asesinando because of that. But to this day, aún se le celebra porque because of him, fue, fue posible ese movimiento de los derechos de las personas de color in the United States, right? And therefore, en muchas otras partes del mundo, porque es por la influencia de Estados Unidos, right? So it is a very um, important day para muchos lugares en Estados Unidos. Um, so yeah, and it is a holiday. We also have February 17th as President's Day, el Día del Presidente, right? And it is a holiday. We have uh, May 25th, remember 25th? And that is Memorial Day. Memorial Day is regarding, se los voy a mostrar, 
a mil it's a military holiday. Saben ustedes que en Estados Unidos, uh, the army y la milicia is very important for the day. Yeah. Memorial Day. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. This is what they do on Memorial Day. They celebrate the lives uh, that have gotten lost to those in the army. Um, and this is what they do, right? They celebrate uh, todas esas personas que han perdido su vida in the name of the country. That's what they do on that day. And that is why it's so important to them. Por eso es tan importante para ellos. Now, on July the 3rd and July the 4th, they celebrate Independence Day. Um, ¿Por qué sale July 3rd and 4th? Porque hacen puente. So they always take, se toman un día antes and hacen un puente. Cuando sucede esto, que es Friday and Saturday, hacen puente. But el día como tal es July 4th. Now, we also have um, Labor Day, which is on September 7th. El Día del Trabajo, which for us is, I think, on May 1st, el primero de mayo, right? Uh, so in the United States, uh, it's on September 7th. On October 12th, it is Columbus Day, el Día de Colón. Uh, same thing, Día de la Conquista, right? On November 11th, we have Veterans Day. Parecido al Memorial Day, sin, pero en vez de celebrar a las personas que han perdido su vida, they celebrate to the veterans. Las personas que han estado en la guerra han regresado con vida a su país y se les celebra a ellos. Um, on November 26th, we have Thanksgiving Day, uh, which I explained yesterday, as I said, I explained ayer. And on December 25th, it is Christmas Day. ¿Qué es esto? Um, well, it is a federal holiday. Si es un feriado uh, in the United States. However, no, no todo el mundo lo celebra, right? Porque si no sos, um, si no sos cristiano, pues no lo celebras, right? Bueno, si, creo que incluso hay cristianos que no lo celebran. I think Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate Christmas. Y no sé qué otros más. But, um, I mean, Catholics and the, the Presbyterians, they celebrate it. So, yeah, esos son las holidays más importantes en Estados Unidos. También celebran otras, otros, um, otras festivities como Valentine's Day um, y también St. Patrick's Day, right? El día de San Patricio, que no son de ellos como tal, sí, pero lo celebran anyways. Now, but let's go back to here. Oh, and there is also Halloween, right? But Halloween... Um, Igualmente no viene de Estados Unidos. Halloween comes from um, Europe and uh, it is born out of like, it's, it's una festividad pagana. So it is born out of um, the winter solstice, solsticio de invierno, solsticio de verano o solsticio de invierno. I'm not sure, but um, it was just as the, um, El cambio de las temporadas, de las cosechas. And that's why they picked up the pumpkin pies, right? And then, cuando esa festividad llegó a Estados Unidos, they started to do the things, de hacerle las caritas a las, a las, a las calabazas, to the pumpkin. Um, y empezaron a crear estas leyendas de que uh, con las brujas y todo, but eh, originalmente... It had nothing to do with that. No tenía nada que ver con eso, but that's some story for you guys. So, what are we are going to do right now, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita para que hagamos un poco de practice, the pronunciation you're reading, es que vamos a hacer la lectura de la uh, biography, the Martin Luther King, all right? And we are all going to participate. Biography. Vamos a buscar una biography que esté... Bonita este cortito. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now, guys, puede que esta biography tenga um, 
algunas words que puede que no conozcamos, pero esto nos va a ayudar a practicar. Les voy a compartir. Vamos a ir leyendo un pedacito cada uno. All right. Yo les voy a ir diciendo hasta dónde vamos a leer. Hay suficiente para que leamos todos. All right. So, um, si llegan a ver una palabra que no conocen, tell me and I'll tell you how to pronounce it. Okay. Eh, pero el significado sí lo vamos a ver al final. Si no saben cómo pronunciar una palabra, me lo dicen and I'll tell you. Um, But, uh, si no saben qué significa, sí, todos los significados para ver vocabulario lo vemos al final. ¿Ya? ¿Les parece? Awesome. Ok. Yes. Cool, 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 cool. We are 16 people right now. So, we have a way to go. So, the first person who is going to be Nubia, Vale, is going to read... Hasta aquí. Hasta 1931. Okay. Martin Luther King Jr., January, um, January 15th. Excellent. Um, 1929, April, uh, April. Fourth, um, uh, nineteen sixty-eight. Was born Michael Luther King Jr., but later had his name changed to Martin. His grandfather began the family loan. King as pastors of the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, Serbi, serving from na, eh, 19, eh, eh, 1914 uh -huh. uh -huh. eh, to 1931. Perfect, Nubia. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now, can I please have Marta read hasta aquí? Up until okay. here. His father has served from them until the present and from 1960 until highs did. Martin Luther acted as co-pastor. Martin Luther attended allí teacher segre, segregated segre, yeah. segregated public school in Georgia in Georgia. Graduating from high school at the age of 15. Excellent, Marta. Thank Hasta you either. very much. Yes, yes, thank you. Awesome, guys. So let's just check right here. Vamos, esa, las pronunciations sí las vamos a ir checking. Las um, definitions hasta el final. Pero vamos checking la pronunciation, guys. Let's remember, let's uh, hear right now. Uh, until, esta palabra, until, until, hasta. Until. Until his death. Now, uh, attended, attended segregated public schools, schools in Georgia, Georgia. Georgia is an estado, right? The Estados Unidos, Georgia. Graduating, graduating, graduating. Perfect. Graduating. Perfect. Excellent. Now, can I please have Danny read up until here? Yes, teacher. After their years of the logics study at Crow 
Technological Seminar is Pennsylvania. Hasta allí. Vamos a leer desde, um, desde aquí hasta aquí. Uh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Eh, sería posible que me pueda ampliar un poquito la imagen, teacher, porque yes. ah, me cuesta, me cuesta ver. Yes, one moment, ahorita. Allow me one moment. Of course. A ver, hoy sí. Vamos a ver si this is better. Is this better? Sí. sí. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to read from here. Sí, okay. Until. Uh, 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 okay. He received the BA degree in nineteen for a from Moro House College a distinguir negro institution of Atlanta from white but his father and grandfather had gra graduated <laughs> algo así thank you Benny <laughs> thank you excellent now veamos estas pronunciation guys now he received con esta he received Received. Received. Now, and um, Received. con los years, guys, con los años, una notation. Mm -hmm. El sí. año, um, como nosotros lo decimos, 1948, que diríamos en inglés, el 1948, that would be 1948, right? It's very long. Entonces, en inglés, para no hacerlo tan largo, lo que hacemos... Uh, quienes ya han estado conmigo, you know, uh, that en inglés lo que solemos hacer es partirlo en dos, and we say 1948, 1948, okay. en dos, perfect. Now, this word is pronounced distinguished, distinguished, distinguished. Esta palabra, por favor, si alguna vez van o están hablando con alguien americano, por favor, jamás la vayan a decir. Jamás le vayan a decir negro a alguien. Never. Never. Por nada del mundo. En algunos estados los pueden hasta demandar por decirle eso a alguien. So please let's not say it. Es una palabra muy discriminativa. Now, and... Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Institution of Atlanta, from which both, both, this word is pronounced both. 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 Perfect. Both. All right. Now let's continue. Nos quedamos graduated. Vamos a leer desde aquí up until here. Please help me, Ale. Okay. After three years of theological study at Crozer Theological Seminary in Pennsylvania, where he was a letter president of a predominantly white senior class, he was awarded the the DD in 1951. Uh, Excellent, Ale. Perfect. Now we have this word. This word is pronounced theological. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Seminary in Pennsylvania where he was elected, ah, aquí, este, predominantly. Esta palabra es un poco complicada. Predominantly. predominantly. Perfect. Awesome. Predominantly. Excellent. Predominantly. White senior class, he was awarded the BD in 1951. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, 
Can I please have, let's see, let's allow me a moment. I'm just going to move, here, move this here. Can I please have Nestor read from here up until here? With a fellowship won a crosser, the enrolled in graduate studies at Boston University, completing the, his residence for the doctorate in uh, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 19? 1963 uh, in receiving the degree in 1965. Excellent, Nestor. Thank you very much. Now, this is a fellowship. When a crosser, he enrolled in graduate Enrolled. studies, okay. completing his residence for the doctorate, 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 and receiving the degree in 1955. Excellent. Now, to finish off this paragraph, can I please have, let's see, Jennifer. Can I please have Jennifer read from here until here. In Boston, he met and married Coretta Scott, a young woman of uncommon intellectual and artistic attainments. Two sons and two daughters we born into the family. Excellent, Jennifer. Thank you. In Boston, he met and married Coretta Scott of uncommon intellectual and artistic attainments. Excellent. Now, guys, before we continue, antes de que continuemos con el next paragraph, quisiera saber, ¿qué palabras de este paragraph no conocen? ¿O qué palabras quisieran saber la definición? ¿O conocemos todas las palabras? No, teacher. Tenor. All right, tenor. ¿Qué yeah. otra? All right, so tenor. Remember that we always have to see the context para entender qué significa una palabra. So, his grandfather began the family's long tenure as pastors of the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. So, su abuelo comenzó la historia larga de su familia como pastores, como la tradición. Tenure es una palabra parecida a tradición. Okay. Thank you. Donde dice, he was Awarded, the BD, awarded, ah. no sé cómo se pronuncia. Bachelor's degree, awarded. Awarded. Bachelor's degree. Fellowship. Ah, perfect, fellowship. Un fellowship, guys, es algo así como un interinato. Cuando, we, when we are studying, at the university, tenemos que hacer um, un interinato, right? Tenemos de ser, somos internos, nos agarren de internos en algún trabajo. Uh, so we practice, right? That's a fellowship. ¿Cómo? All right, so uncommon. What is common, guys? ¿Qué es common? Comúnmente. Común. Excellent. So, solo common es comúnmente. ¿Qué sería uncommon? Poco común. Excellent. That's correct. Si common es común, uncommon es poco común. 
a young woman of uncommon intelligence and artistic attainments. Una señorita de inteligencia poco común y talentos o cualidades artísticas. What else, guys? Which one? In the part of Atlanta from which both his father and her grandfather had graduated. Aquí está. From, well, from which both his father and grandfather had graduated. ¿Cuál es la palabra that we don't know? Both. Both. Excellent. Perfect. So both. His father and grandfather, ambos, both, both you and I, tú y yo, you and I, uh, both my sister and I, mi hermana y yo, both, uh, both my parents, ambos, mis padres, both his father and grandfather, ambos, he, su padre y su abuela, both, ambos. Thanks. Course. Excellent, guys. Now, let's continue with the reading. Para que podamos participar todos. Now, let's see. Let's continue with the next paragraph. Right here. Now, can I please have Bamos? Can I please have Veronica? Veronica, read from here until here. Hello. Hola. Hi. <laughs> Let's go. Solo el, lo del número es que no podía poner. Ah, ok. No sé That's qué. 1940, I'm sorry, 1954. In 1954, Martin Luther King became pastor of the Dexter Avenue, Bastille Shoe, in Montgomery, Alabama, always a strong worker free. For civil rights, for member of the rank. In Guash, or as I. No, see, see. In Guash, please. Be this time. A man. A member of the Executive Committee of the National Association, and no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Uh, for the advancement, advancement. Advancement, for the mm -hmm. advancement of scored people, the Latin organization of, of its in the nation. Thank you very much, Veronica. Excellent, guys. Now, let's review this paragraph. In 1954, Martin Luther King became pastor of the Dexter Avenue. Esta palabra se dice avenue. Avenida. Avenue. Now, Baptist Church. Church, what is church, guys? Iglesia. Iglesia. Perfect. So that's church. Church. No tengamos miedo de decir CH. That's church. In Montgomery. That's a city in the United States. Montgomery, Alabama. Alabama is el estado. In Montgomery, Alabama. Always a strong worker for civil rights. For members of his race. De su raza. Of his race. 
king was by. By this time, a member of the executive committee, committee, committee of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. The leading Organization, esta palabra es un poco difícil al principio, organization, organization of its kind in the nation, of its kind in the nation, de su clase en la nación. Awesome. Now, can I please have... Let's see, can I please have Eden Nilsson read from here up until here. He, he was ready then early in December 1915 to accept the leadership of the first great Negro nonviolent demonstration of contemporary times in the United States, the vast boycott described by Gunnar Jack in his presentation speak in honor of the law. Laurer, Laurer. Excellent, Denise. Thank you very much for reading. Now, let's review. He was ready then in uh, early in December 1955. Remember, when we say 15, si decimos 15, estamos diciendo 15. And 15, 50. So 55, that's 55, yeah? Now, to accept the leadership of the first uh, great Negro nonviolent demonstration of contemporary times in the United States, the boss boycott described by Gunnar Jaw in his presentation speech, speech discurso, speech discurso, in honor of the laureate, laureate proletarial. Now, guys, ya tenemos solo tres minutos, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the reading. Uh, the boycott lasted 382 days. Este, este levantamiento duró 382 días. On December 21st, 1956, after the Supreme Court of the United States had declared unconstitutional the laws requiring segregation on buses, Negroes and whites rode the buses as equals. During these days of boycott, King was arrested, his home was bombed, he was subjected to personal abuse, but at the same time, he emerged as a Negro leader of the first rank. Durante este levantamiento que lideró Martin Luther King, fue arrestado, le pusieron una bomba en su casa, lo abusaron de él, pero al mismo tiempo se volvió el líder del movimiento de las personas de color, right? And the first um, thing that they were able to get fue poder ir en, el, en los buses con las personas blancas. And that was a great thing for them en ese momento. Ahora a nosotros puede que nos parezca... Um, hasta extraño que nos sorprenda, right? But for them, in, in the 50s, in, in 1950s, fue un gran logro. Les voy a recomendar una película that talks about this. It's called uh, The Help. No sé si ya la han visto. And it's really great. It's very heartwarming. And it talks about uh, how they had to fight for their rights. Es una muy buena película para que practiquen inglés y que escuchen acentos sureños, so that you can hear those accents as well. All right, guys. So, uh, today we have finished with the topics of holidays in the U.S. and also 
you now know how to make questions using double uh, using going to y también saben cómo hacer statements using going to con to, todos y cada uno de los pronouns. Additionally, también practicamos pronunciation con este reading. Y eh, on Monday, vamos a comenzar a ver también eh, special occasions. Cómo hablar sobre special occasions. Y vamos a comenzar con la section two, guys. Vamos a hacer un review y después vamos a comenzar con section two. And with that, we would finish today's class, guys. And I hope that you have a great weekend. Muchas gracias por conectarse hoy. Hope that you enjoy your weekend. And we will see you, uh, we will see each other on Monday. Okay? Good night, Ale. Good night, guys. See you Monday. See you on Monday. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night.